It's the Simplex Ultra on the chopping board. Nail board. Hello all, Aaron here again with another one of his test videos. I know, I know, some of you like the test videos, some of you don't like the test videos, you prefer to see me out on the beach detecting or in the field detecting, but this is just one of those things that we do here on the channel. We like to test new detectors when we get hold of them. So today I've got the Simplex Ultra and I'm testing it on the nail board. Now I know a lot of you are gonna be looking at that and saying, Aaron, you're a lunatic. You've zip tied some rusty nails to a chopping board. Your wife is gonna kill you, very probably. But anyway, this is the nail board test. It's universally acknowledged as being a very tricky test for testing out machines because of the amount of iron and the placement of the coins when you're doing the test. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna try the Simplex Ultra on this. We're gonna be using big penny, half penny, uh, little silver 3P, hammered coin, uh, also a big chunky ring, a little Roman as well. We'll see how we get on with that. So let's try the Simplex Ultra on the nail board and see how it gets on. All right, start off with the large penny then. No problem there. Not an issue. Still picking it up. Okay, let's go on something different. What else we got? Have a look. Half penny. Still just about hear the squeak in there. Yeah, getting it. I think two is the trickiest one on that. The number two axis. Mm. Kinda. Yeah, still getting it. I'll just quickly take that out. There we go. Yeah, it disappears there. Yeah, it's getting it. Put that back in, there we go. What else? Small silver, there you go. Small silver 3P. It disappears there. Just a little squeak of it there. Yeah, 
then disappears in a couple of them. It's a small target, it's very squeaky. Let's take the iron out. It's just there. It disappears on that one. Yeah, it's barely there. Yeah, a lot of masking going on there. Try a little Roman. Hmm, bit of masking there. tricky test this one which is why a lot of people use it yep yeah little Roman struggles on that one let's try a little hammered Again, it is a very thin coin, very small amount of silver compared to all the iron that's around it. So it is going to be a tricky one to do that. Like I say, it's a very thin, small amount of silver and a lot of iron that it's got to contend with. Let's have a look at this one. This is different. This is a big silver. Big chunky silver ring, so let's try this. That's better. Mm-hmm. Yep. Nice. Just 
struggling a bit on that one. Seems to get it just on the edge of the coil, both sides. Look, yeah, so big, generous swing. Possibly get that. Actually, not too bad. I'm actually getting it both ways on that. Yeah. So let me try, just out of interest. Let me try the hammered again. Big, generous swing. No. Just getting on the edge of the coil, but no. There we go. That's the results. So that was the Simplex Ultra on the nail board, and we did it in field mode. Uh, the sensitivity was quite low because we're not looking for depth. We're not looking for the targets that are deep in the ground these targets are right under the coil so we kept the sensitivity down to a minimum it doesn't have to be high just needed to be quick so that we could try to you know winkle out the little targets in between the iron just needed to be quick didn't need to be deep and that's how we got on it would appear that the ultra benefits from a wider swing a nice wide swing as quick as the machine is and it is quite quick but it does need a nice wide swing so that the coil, the edges of the coil can pick up on that target. Because as you saw, when there was lots of iron around it and we were doing a shorter swing, it was not picking it up. You had to go really wide in order for it to pick it up, especially on the silver ring just there towards the end. So what do you make of that? Leave your comments down below. I certainly think that that machine would benefit on this sort of test, definitely from a more narrow coil, similar to the SP24 on the Simplex. Yeah, definitely, and I think that machine then with a nice narrow coil would be fantastic. Anyway, thank you for dropping by. If you're new to the channel, why not maybe like and subscribe? If you are heading out, good luck and happy hunting. Uh, if you're looking to buy some equipment, maybe head over to lpmetaldetecting.com forward slash south coast detecting. I'm heading off now because it's starting to rain. And I'll see you all again soon. Cheers. Ta-ra.